This is the Music History Today podcast for July 23rd. On today's show, Amy Winehouse passes away, Sun Studios becomes a landmark, and rock and roll gets banned. First up, though, on this date in 1963, Neil Young recorded his first song, The Sultan, with his high school group, The Squires. In 1968, the Jackson 5 auditioned for Motown Records for the third time. They were offered a recording contract soon thereafter, this time around after being denied the first two times. Also on that same exact day, the Ivies signed a record contract with the Beatles-owned record label, Apple Records, not to be confused with Apple, the computer conglomerate. The group then had their name changed from the Ivies to Badfinger. In 1979, Iranian leader the Ayatollah Khomeini banned rock and roll because of its corruptive influence on the country's youth. His words, not mine. The Clash based their hit song Rock the Casbah on this event, by the way. In 1982, Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds' movie The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas premiered in movie theaters. In 1982, singer and actress Vanessa Williams resigned as Miss America after nude photos of her were published in Penthouse magazine. In 1988, the group The Dan Lears reunited. In 1989, Ringo Starr's band, Ringo Starr's All-Star Band, made its debut. In 1992, Bruce Springsteen started his first world tour without the E Street Band. In 1993, the Janet Jackson and Tupac movie, Poetic Justice, premiered in movie theaters. In 2000, Mike D. of the Beastie Boys got into a bicycle accident, which led to them canceling their Rhyme and Reason tour with Rage Against the Machine. In 2001, Megadeth were banned from playing in Malaysia because of the lyrics in their albums. In 2010, the group One Direction was formed. Also in 2010, Kings of Leon canceled their concert in St. Louis, Missouri, after playing a few songs because there were birds in the rafters of the performance hall who were going to the bathroom on them. I could see how that could distract a few people. In 2014, the duo The Girl and the Dreamcatcher formed. In 2018, the United States National Transportation Safety Board actually had to issue a release telling people not to jump out of moving cars and dance to the song In My Feelings by Drake because this little act of stupidity became a social media thing. <sighs> I fear for our country. Anywho, in 2019, the K-pop group Six was formed, and Six was spelled C-I-X. And in 2021, country music superstar Morgan Whalen gave an interview to the ABC television morning show Good Morning America to apologize after a video of him using the N-word repeatedly while being drunk surfaced on the internet. In classical music in 1961, Grace Bumbry became the first black opera singer to perform at the Bayreuth Festival in Germany. In award ceremonies that were held on July 23rd in 1968, Los Angeles declared the day James Brown Day. But because Los Angeles Mayor Sam Yorty was late, James Brown actually left the ceremony before it even got started. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Got to make money. In 1994, Frank Zappa had an asteroid that moved into Earth Mars's orbit named after him by the International Asteroid Union. In 2003, Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee became a national landmark. Albums that were released on July 23rd include in 1965 when the Supremes released more hits by the Supremes and the Moody Blues released the Magnificent Moody's. In 1971, the Moody Blues were at it again. This time they released Every Good Boy Deserves Favor. In 1973, Jethro Tull released A Passion Play. In 1974, Joan Baez released Gracias a la Vida. In 1982, Teddy Pendergrass released This One's For You. And also the soundtrack to The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas came out with Dolly Parton on that one. In 1984, Sammy Hagar released VOA, and Rick Springfield released the soundtrack to Hard to Hold. 
in 1991. Color Me Bad released CMB and DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince released Home Base and the Innocence Mission released Umbrella. In 1996, Fiona Apple released Tidal. Also on that same day, the Black Crows released Three Snakes and One Charm. In 2002, My Chemical Romance released their debut album, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love. And in 2012, Procol Harum released MMX. Singles that were released in the UK on July 23rd include in 1965, when the Beatles did a twofer, they released I'm Down and Help. Meanwhile, on the same day, the Miracles released the Tracks of My Tears and Lee Dorsey released Ride Your Pony. In 1965, same day as well, Wilson Pickett released In the Midnight Hour. In 1982, Pink Floyd released When the Tigers Broke Free. In 1990, Mariah Carey released Vision of Love, her debut single. And in 2001, The Human League released All I Ever Wanted. Meanwhile, in America, across the pond, in 1962, Marvin Gaye released Stubborn Kind of Fellow. In 1965, the Marvelettes released Danger, Heartbreak, Dead Ahead. In 1968, Junior Walker and the All-Stars released Hip City Part 2. In 1973, Steely Dan released Showbiz Kids and Cher released Half Breed. In 1976, Paul McCartney and Wings released Let Him In. In 1977, Foreigner released Cold as Ice. In 1980, the Pointer Sisters released He's So Shy. In 1981, the Moody Blues released The Voice. In 1982, Hugh Lewis and the News released Working for a Living. In 1983, ZZ Top released Sharp Dressed Man. In 1984, The Cars released Drive. In 1985, Madonna released Into the Groove. And in 2001, R.E.M. released All the Way to Reno, You're Gonna Be a Star. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 23rd include singer Alison Krauss, Steve Joss of Sum 41, singer Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child, Chad Gracie of Live, Sam Waters of Color Me Bad, Slash of Guns N' Roses, Tim Kellett of Simply Red, Nick Menza of Megadeth, Martin Gore of Depeche Mode, Marissa DeFranco of The DeFranco Family, Janice Siegel of Manhattan Transfer, Blair Thornton of Bachman Turner Overdrive, John Hall of Orleans, singer David Essex, Andy Mackey of Roxy Music, Matthew Murphy of The Wombats, Mr. Dalvin the Great of Jodeci, singer Madeline Bell of Blue Mink, singer Tony Joe White, Dino Dinelli of The Young Rascals, John Rutsey of Rush, Fran Healy of Travis, rapper Sue Generous, rapper Santo August, singer Swasa, singer Alexis Ashley, producer Major Ali, drummer Gator de Saint Jour. Cleveland Duncan of the Penguins, Burt Convey of the Cheers, singer-songwriter Ian Thomas, guitarist Dennis Greaves of Nine Below Zero, saxophonist Lauren Schoenberg, singer Pedro Aznar, reed player Alan Barnes, guitarist Yuval Gabay of Soul Coughing, singer Rob Dickinson of Catherine Wheel, country music singer Shannon Brown, Jazz musician Tony Lee, drummer Danny Barcelona, singer and actress Gloria De Haven, clarinetist Claude Luter, jazz percussionist Jim Chapin, guitarist Alf Prosen, and guitarist and also jazz legend Billie Holiday's father, Clarence Holiday. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 23rd include composer Pietro Reggio, who passed away in 1685 at the age of 53. 
Harpsichordist Domenico Scarlatti passed away in 1757 at the age of 71. Composer Wozniak Boguslawski passed away in 1829 at the age of 72. Composer Frantesic Nizzi passed away in 1840 at the age of 55. Composer Thomas Walmisley passed away in 1866 at the age of 83. Composer Miguel Eslava y Elizondo passed away in 1878 at the age of 70. Composer Zygmunt Noskowski passed away in 1909 at the age of 63. Composer and conductor Max Schillings passed away in 1933 at the age of 65. Saxophonist Gavin Fitzjohn passed away in 1947 at the age of 22. Singer and actor Donald Novis passed away in 1966 at the age of 60. Pianist Leith Stevens passed away from a heart attack after learning that his wife had just died in a car accident in 1970 at the age of 60. Pianist Marius Francois Galliard passed away in 1973 at the age of 72. Composer René DeVos passed away in 1977 at the age of 79. Keith Godchow of the Grateful Dead passed away in a car accident in 1980 at the age of 31. Composer George Ulrich passed away in 1983 at the age of 84. Band leader Kay Kaiser of Kay Kaiser's College passed away in 1985 at the age of 79. Composer Joku Tolanen passed away in 1986 at the age of 73. Jazz pianist Joe Turner passed away in 1990 at the age of 82. Singer Robert Summer passed away from liver failure in 1990 at the age of 42. Film composer Hans J. Salter passed away in 1994 at the age of 98. Blues singer Floyd McDaniel passed away in 1995 at the age of 80. Rob Collins of the Charlatans UK passed away in a car accident in 1996 at the age of 33. Singer and actor Mahmood passed away in 2004 at the age of 71. Composer Carlos Paredes passed away in 2004 at the age of 84. Composer Piero Piccioni passed away in 2004 at the age of 82. Singer Serge Reggiani passed away in 2004 at the age of 82. Jazz guitarist Ted Green passed away in 2005 at the age of 59. Accordionist Myron Florin of the Lawrence Welk Show passed away in 2005 at the age of 85. Songwriter and producer Ron Miller passed away in 2007 at the age of 74. Danny McBride of the group Sha Na Na passed away in 2009 at the age of 63. Saxophonist Willem Brooker passed away in 2010 at the age of 65. Singer-songwriter Amy Winehouse passed away from alcohol poisoning in 2011 at the age of 27, and we talk about her life and death on this week's edition of the Music History Today In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped by the time you're hearing my voice. It comes out every Tuesday. Please like and subscribe. Producer Johnny Hose passed away in 2011 at the age of 94. Blues guitarist Robert Cage passed away in 2012 at the age of 75. Entertainer Dora Bryan passed away in 2014 at the age of 91. Composer and pianist Heinz Longquich passed away in 2014 at the age of 77. Singer Denisa Raduco passed away in 2017 at the age of 27. Singer Amir Gutman passed away from drowning in 2017 at the age of 41. The TV producer for The Monkees television show, Bob Raffleson, passed away in 2022 at the age of 89. And entertainer Pamela Blair passed away in 2023 at the age of 73. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 24th when, in 2020, Taylor Swift released her Grammy-winning album, Folklore. Thank you very, very much for listening if you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. 
As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>